are there are there shows that that don't want to be on 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 TV, Burp? Are there shows that deliberately won't send you preview uh, copies because uh, they don't want to be included? Well, none of the uh, BBC won't send us preview copies. On the whole, we somehow we do manage to get hold of some of them, but um, the BBC from the start have not wanted to play along. And yet, you can still include some of their shows. You just have to watch them go out. We tape and them off the air. Take them. Yeah. Just use them. Yeah, we tape them. Are they? Yeah. We oh. Sky Plus them. <laughs> when the show first started, did you find that a lot of pro other TV shows didn't quite know what to make of it and couldn't work out if you were insulting them or not? Yeah. Well, we always kind of uh, we aimed it. The idea was it was supposed to be a celebration of TV. Right, rather than have it would be quite easy to make a sort of scathing, nasty version of TV. But I mean, we, in actual fact, we are quite, you know, we can be quite rude about things. But we, somehow we managed to, you know, we sort of put a smile on it, or you know, yeah, are you, um, you are. Even though it's described as a celebration, there are clearly moments in the show where yes. you are saying, "Don't watch this terrible." That, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, we have been like that about about. But you know what, like freaky eaters. We did that thing every week about free eaters, you know, that show where, oh, I can't yeah. eat cheese, I can't eat chips, chiffy chips, all this. And, uh, in fact, it was the thing that got them the second series. <laughs> <laughs> and the producer said to me, thanks very much. Is that true? Yeah, yeah really? he tracked me down at some award ceremony, not that they were up for one. <laughs> and uh, he said, oh, thanks very much, yeah, you know. And, they, in fact, they went on to a third series. So the that... third series we didn't feature at all because we thought we were being played. And now is it being canned? I don't know. You see, well, that's interesting. Cause it's that's not sh- personal, you know. It's not personal, but a show like Freaky Eaters is on BBC Three. Yeah, and BBC on... Three. Is what it's, I have to say, BBC Three for me is the biggest wind-up because I don't mind it on Channel 5. Freaky Eaters, Channel 5, great. BBC, BBC Three, I'm sorry. What was I'm that? paying what you... for that. I'm paying for that. What? What's wrong with that? What's wrong no, with, what's wrong with public money? Go, what's wrong with I'm public money going it. towards freaky eaters? Eh? What's wrong with that? Well, it's solving people without who haven't got a problem in the first place. And if you just gave them a hundred quid, that could probably solve their problem, wouldn't it? They'd rather make a whole TV show. Do you think there's anyone who's what is the audience who are addicted to crisps or can't eat sweet corn? That want to uh, that actually get anything out of free heat. It must be about one person thinking, "Yeah, it's my show. I'm allergic to sweet corn. It's my show. It's cured me. Thanks very much." You know, uh, it's just nonsense. I suppose they're trying to make it entertainment. What's the other one? Wedding. Uh, uh, there's one about weddings on BBC Three. We gave them, yeah, we gave them uh, five hundred quid to no, a thousand, no, ten thousand quid, I think it is, to organise their wedding. But they've only got forty-eight hours to organise it. That's not. They're giving, that's my money they're giving. I'm organising other people's weddings. I'm giving them £10,000 to organise their weddings so it can go out on TV. It's not, it's not even interesting. Is that, is that what, is BBC Three changed though? Is that more what it was a couple of years ago? No. Because no, those shows are all still yeah, on, are they? Those shows are new shows. and Well, not Freaky Eaters, but there are, I mean, really, yeah. Hmm. I don't mind it. I mean, broadly, you're being, I don't BBC mind it. BBC Three is spending money on shows it shouldn't spend money on. Well, where are the mm. listings for BBC Three? Oh, let's have a look okay. at them now. Right, yeah, we, a just very, have yeah. a little look and see what's... Yeah, that's a very good idea. Yeah, I can, I that can, might be an item. You can see the editor of the show. He's on what we call talk back there. I suspect he's talking to the people over at our desk in the office and they'll be rushing through a TV schedule. And he got a paper. To, to go through. Uh, a Radio Times, I'm now being told in my headphones, is on its way oh, as brilliant. we speak. That is yeah. exciting. Isn't it? No, but yeah. broadly, yes, we try not to... Uh, you know, we have to keep in with sort of ITV a bit. You know, like X Factor and things like that. So, you know, they say we have to get permission from them. So, you know, if, and actually they'd always let us pretty much. There was, there was one of the, the, I mean, it's a terrific show. Here he one, comes. one of the, here it is, the Radio Times is now turned That's Mick. Mick, that's Harry. Mick, Mick hello, Mick. Team. Hello, Mick. BBC Three. Yeah, all right. Okay, go on then. Oh, crikey. Beyond Watford, Roxy Mitchell. This is the other thing they do, is they do shows which are just at dog ends of other shows. <laughs> Rita Simons tries to prove she can run a London pub for real when she's challenged to spend a week behind a bar. Why? In what might way be, is it entertaining? Might an, it, well, it might be an entertaining TV show. It's not enough. Can you keep going? What else the is world's on? strictest parents. Daniel Ayer and Forrest Talbot, I've seen this, are sent to live with the Van Berkels, a hard-working family in the Netherlands. Now, this is some, these are some kids, you know, that obviously have been cast, have been, you know, the troublemaking kids that they then go and stay with a family in. Is in Holland, right? I saw one is in America. So they've had to fly over a crew, the whole lot, to film them for a week. With that, some that, American family. 
We don't care about... We're not interested in these kids. What are the lessons? Nine o'clock, Con Air. Well, that's a it's film. It's a film, that's a film, yeah. Family Guy, fair enough. Yeah, that's good. 11.05, uh, Family Guy again. Can't Bully Me. Documentary following four youngsters as they attend specialist centres to deal with the traumatic effects of bullying. Right, okay. that, right that could be well, good. That's, that's public service broadcasting well, right Why there. isn't that on at seven instead of Beyond Watford, where Roxy Mitchell proves she can run a London pub? She's an actress. We know she can't run a London pub. She doesn't have to prove it. <laughs> She's an actress who plays someone who runs a London uh, pub. Maybe they should get someone from a London pub and put them in EastEnders. Um, oh. should, should we get... I mean, we, perhaps we should give BBC Three a right of reply, but, you know, they're, they're criticising the scheduling there. Well, I, I mean, think they, what they, it is... They, you know what yeah. it is, I think? This is my big deal. With, Go on. Uh, and I, was, I shouldn't really, but BBC One... BBC Two has turned into BBC One, right? There's some quite good programmes on BBC Two... But the BBC One shows, on the whole, are a bit ITV. So what? BBC One's turned into ITV. ITV's turned into Sky. BBC Three is... Uh, BBC Two uh, is one. BBC One. BBC Three... BBC Four is BBC Two now. BBC Four is it's the only thing you can get any kind of arts or decent documentary stuff on. And BBC Three, what is that? Channel Five. 